So, so here we are with, uh, this is pod one, first gigapod. Um, it's it's uh, very close to completion, probably a couple weeks worth of work and it'll be done. It'll look very finished in the next few days as we get siding on it and things like that, um, to get the doors mounted and things. Um, so we're, this is the first pod on a campus that we're building out here in Wenatchee that will do over 30 megawatts of mining power. And uh, this is where we're going to support all the, the new Bitcoin mining businesses that, that come to Gigawatt. So there's uh, 18 more of these pods being built in a, in a big nine acre space that we're standing on now. We're now in, in a real pod, uh, Gigapod. The, the, this is uh, the first one built to plan. It's, it's amazing to have it actually be real. Uh, it came up out of the ground in about two weeks time. So uh, they do build very quickly. The, the foundation was literally um, one day old when we started adding wood to the foundation. So it's still carrying now as we stand on it, but it's still, it, it can be built very quickly. The nice thing about the prefab modular kit that we designed is that as you saw, uh, hopefully from pictures, there's, there's uh, panels. They're uh, a special type of panel that, that basically builds a wall panel. It's engineered into this design. So what you get is instantly, as soon as these walls go up, you get a, a finished interior. You don't have to sheetrock, which you don't want to sheetrock inside of a facility like this because there'll probably be more moisture levels than the interior of a house would be used to. And then you can very quickly just paint it to make a finished wall surface. So it's, it's extremely quick and, and, and again, it, it cuts cost at every step. Um, the, the, what we're standing inside is basically a giant mining box. It's like being inside of an actual Bitmain S9. You've got a tremendous amount of fans here uh, arrayed along the wall. And on, on this side of the wall, you've got a, an array of intakes, basically. Um, and so the air will flow in from this side. It'll move through the back of this pod, and it'll flow out the building this way. And we'll have our miners in racking here uh, so that the air really has no other way that it can go other than through the miners as cool air and then out through the fans as hot air. Um, it's a very short throw. So I can almost touch the walls from side to side. That means the air doesn't have very far to go before it's out the door and we've got fresh air coming in. So you always want to keep the air charge cool and, and refreshed, right? Uh, new fresh air supply. Um, then uh, the amount of power inside this thing is more power than, than I typically even put in the, the large big box projects that we've done. Um, almost two megawatts of power in one of these things because we have a design for extremely high dense um, deployment of the mining hardware and extremely high dense uh, electrical uh, switch gear. So that the, these walls will be full of electrical components for distributing the power within the space. And um, normally that requires quite a bit of room, um, but we designed it in such a way to be able to bring that kind of power all into a very small space. Uh, that's where some of the critical part of this engineering has taken place. Other than that, it's, it's designed for fast build. It's designed for uh, low cost. Uh, there's, no, there's no money wasted on fancy, nice things. It's, it's while, while also not being cheap. It's not gonna fall down you know, in, in, in a couple of years. Um, it'll be weatherproof and it'll just mainly be be extremely performant for um, the, the activity of, of high density computing. It's gonna be amazing standing inside here when the air is just rushing through all these fans. It's gonna feel like you're being pulled towards them, uh, but that's what it takes to do an air-cooled 1.7 megawatt gigapod giant, basically the giant, could be the biggest miner in the world is one way to think of it. Um, I think one, one thing uh, we were talking about was cooling, and we didn't really talk about why don't I just use a ton of air conditioning? Like, that's what the data centers do. Why not have rows and rows of air, cool, you know, air conditioning uh, units all along a gigapod? First of all, that costs a ton of money. Um, we could easily spend um, 30, 50% more money on uh, air conditioning units to set them up for each gigapod, and that, that cost ends up coming to our customers. The second is uh, 
besides the fact that uh, the amount of air conditioning required to cool 1.7 megawatts would be ridiculous, it also uses at least 30% of the power load inside of one of these things. So then now all of a sudden your profit margins are all low because you're spending so much on air conditioning on the electricity to run the air conditioners. Uh, and then we'll get, we don't even need to talk about maintenance and all the other things that go along with it. So th that's why you see air-cooled gigapods. And the fact is, it's the most efficient way to run. Uh, 18 more of these pods being built in a, in a big nine acre space that we're standing on now. And uh, it's right next to our corporate headquarters building. So I'm really excited to show this whole site to everybody who's gonna come visit and check it out. I'm really proud of it. And I'm proud of what the team's putting together here. So, so uh, can't wait for you guys to come join Gigawatt and start a mine and, and, and find out what it's like. <music>